Hey guys, it's your girl Shady Lane 2121 and I am coming to you with a video about a new coupon policy that I am totally and completely upset about. First off, I do have clothes on people, I'm half dressed, sorry. Anyways, um, I am so mad about Fry's new coupon policy. If you guys live in the Arizona, Tucson area, Phoenix area, surrounding areas, whatever, on September 11th of all days, Fry slipped in um, an ad, I guess, on the back page saying that they would no longer be continuing their dollar coupons. They would not even be going back to their double coupon policy. They would just be taking coupons at face value. And apparently, we're supposed to see all this price difference in the price of groceries and they're going to have better e-coupons and all this, that, and the other. I am so tipped off because they tried this, I think it was in Texas, I want to say, with Kroger's and said, oh, it's just a test market, no worries, no one else is going to be affected, this was a couple months ago. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they take our coupons away. Not to mention they do it on September 11th. What kind of, you know, that's that was just tasteless to me on their part. Uh... I'm lucky because I have Safeway that doubles or makes all coupons a dollar and Walmart is doing a test market in my area so a couple of my Walmarts are now doubling coupons. So I am fortunate enough to have that. However, I was very loyal to Fry's and love Fry's to death. That was like my favorite store. So they will be stopping double coupons or making all coupons a dollar on the 14th which is Wednesday. So I am just very sad about this situation. There's a lot of people that are upset about it. And I really feel like by the end of the year or beginning of next year, they're just going to start taking them away for everybody. And there's no, you know, no one's going to have them. So that kind of sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, it's because of extreme couponers. You know, you guys are hoarders and it's all your fault. Should be told, I haven't shopped in a while. Like, you know, people see things on a TV show and automatically think that you shop like that all the time. Seriously, I've only been shopping a couple times since I was on the show. I don't shop like that on a regular basis. Um, like, when I go shop, I probably get a basket of groceries. So, it's not like I shop like that on a regular basis at all. I mean, I've never shopped like that, like I shopped on the show. They asked us to do the biggest trip ever, and we did. Um, I think people think that we're hoarders or whatever. I'm glad that I have a stockpile because times like this when they're going to stop double or making all coupons a dollar, I'm glad that I have things that I can fall back on. I'm glad that I don't have to buy toothpaste, toilet paper, soap, uh, paper towels, canned goods, things like that. I'm glad that I have that to fall back on. So, you know, people can say what they want to say, but I'm not a hoarder. Hoarders are, you know, stuff that's in all over the place, no order, chaos. I have enough that I can support my family of six, so I'm happy with that. Anywho, I'm off subject. I don't really think that Fry's is stopping the coupons just because of extreme couponing. I think they tried it out in Texas and figured out, hey, we're not losing that much off of our bottom line by getting rid of these coupons, so why wouldn't we do it everywhere else? I don't think it had much to do with the extreme couponing. Uh, to be honest, in my area, I hardly even see couponers anymore. Like, months ago, I saw a whole bunch of people that just had binders and they had their coupons out and, you know, there was no stock, I couldn't get a newspaper, I would go to Walgreens, everything was cleared out, and I haven't had that problem in the last couple of months when I have gone to the store. So, I don't know. I know the new season of Extreme Couponing starts soon. I think they are airing a preview today. <sighs> so, you know... We're going to have to see what's going to happen with other stores. I just wanted to let you guys know, in case you were not aware, if you live in my area, which is, you know, the Arizona, you know, Phoenix, Casa Grande, Yuma's being affected, Tucson, all these areas are where there's going to be no more dollar coupons for fries. Fries usually has awesome deals, too. I mean, like right now they have their half gallon of milk for 88 cents. I got pissed off and I was like, I'm not shopping at Fry's anymore, that's it, I'm done with them. But realistically, if they have 88 cent milk, guess what? I'm going to go and get 88 cent milk because there's usually not any coupons for milk. So, or I can price match it at Walmart. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, you know, like I said, I really love Fry's, I love their customer service. They usually do have pretty good deals um, compared to Safeway. 
I think Safeway is higher priced as far as their stuff goes. Walmart, I absolutely love Walmart. I have not used their double coupons yet, but if they have double coupons, then I'm definitely going to check that out. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel. Are there stores in your area that are getting rid of double coupons, triple coupons, dollar coupons, whatever? What changes are you seeing? Let me know. How about you, girl? I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.